Hey pals, this is Blaine Hill. I'm coming to you from Lake Murray Presbyterian Church and the Simply Stated Podcast. Today is the 11th of February, 2021, a Thursday, and I'm glad to be with you today. I'm going to continue to look uh, at some theological resources uh, today. That sounds really boring. What I'm going to talk about is the character of God today. What is God like? Uh, and there's a long list of descriptions of God uh, in, our, in our confessions, many ways to describe what God is like. Um, things like, here's a great list. Immutable, immense, eternal, incomprehensible, almighty, most wise, most holy, most free, most absolute. Well, it just goes on and on. Um, but today I really want to emphasize one little point uh, that our confessions say about what God is like. That God is not standing in need of any creatures which he hath made. God doesn't need his creatures. That's a really interesting point. Uh, if you think about our relationships as, as human beings with the world around us, really with other people, there's always a sense of give and take, uh, even with newborn children. Um, essentially, the parents give and give and give, and yet they provide back to us as well. Um, I seem to have a superpower to make the phone ring whenever I'm doing these devotionals. Sorry about that. Um, we, uh, when we live in a relationship with other human beings, there's a give and a take giving and receiving. And we do offer to God our praise and our worship and our obedience. But an important distinction is that God doesn't stand in need of anything for us. Well, that may be interesting by itself. Why is it important? Here's why it's important. That even though God doesn't need anything for us, he gives everything for us. That God doesn't need anything from you, but God gives everything, including his son for you. That's a small idea. Uh, well, a concise idea, but it's powerful. That everything that God has given to you is simply out of his love and affection for you. That God has given his son, Jesus Christ, for you and your salvation, for your comfort, your freedom, and your assurance. Um, not because God needs anything in return, though we will offer our lives in return, but because God loves you. And so uh, in, in the idea that God uh, doesn't need anything from us, and we find that in Acts, let me, let me read that little verse to you from Acts 17. The God who made the world and everything in it, who is the Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mortals life and breath and all things. So that's part of a sermon about a, a, a broader idea. Uh, but I want to hold it out and hold, be, hold that verse out because it points out that God doesn't stand in need of anything from you. But God has given everything for you. Your life, this world, and eternal life in his son, Jesus Christ. So that's an idea I hope that you'll take with you that will be an encouragement to you to, to know God's love and care for you on this day. God bless you, and I hope to see you soon one way or another.